UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has met with the leaders of the Turkish and Greek Cypriot communities in Geneva today to map out a schedule for efforts to reunite the divided island. The UN's 37-year peacekeeping mission in Cyprus is one of the longest in its history. Our reporter Kath Brazier has been looking at the important role British UN troops continue to play there. Homes abandoned over 30 years ago now part of the buffer zone and a regular patrol ground for members of the 3rd Battalion, the Royal Anglian Regiment. These soldiers are only deployed here for six months, so while talks in Geneva will have little impact on their daily routine, the history of the conflict is ever important. We find things all the time, really, particularly, you know, you, you just park up the vehicle, have a walk around, make sure there isn't anything that shouldn't be here, you know, in the middle of the buffer zone, you go have a look around a couple of houses or what have you, and you, you always find different things, particularly something uh, which is going to be a bit legacy from 1974 war and, as well. The military presence in the buffer zone is spread over three sectors. The British control sector two in and around Nicosia. Although troops no longer man each observation post on a permanent basis, they patrol on foot, in vehicles and on bikes. The buffer zone covers about 3% of the island, which includes some of the most valuable agricultural land. And while the most crucial part of the UN mandate is to prevent a recurrence of fighting between the Cyprus National Guard and Turkish Cypriot forces, another major function is to encourage the resumption of normal civilian activity in the buffer zone, for example, construction and farming. What we're doing is we're just making sure that we've... Uh, the We've got farmers that are actually farming the ground here. We're just making sure that they're, uh, they've got the permits and this and the other. And we're also checking to make sure all the, uh, obviously the OP4s are behaving themselves and, uh, and nothing's amiss really, basically. The buffer zone remains sensitive territory and patrols like this one are necessary to monitor any activity within it. But they're also invaluable to the UN peacekeeping force who look to preserve good relations on both sides, maintaining the status quo and allowing the political process to move forward. The latest UN effort started more than a year ago and from July the 1st, 2012, the Greek Cypriots take over the EU presidency. In effect, this date has become a deadline for a deal to be struck. Well, if the peace process is successful, probably the UN mission will be larger and it will help the federal government in those first uh, couple of years when they're establishing all the federal institutions and working out exactly what the modalities of the agreement should be. If the um, current peace process isn't successful, which of course we hope it is, then also the, certainly the UN peacekeeping force um, will be around until there's something else which can replace it in a satisfactory way. Both leaders have continuously expressed their wish for reunification, but according to the UN Special Advisor Alexander Downer, the last three months of talks have been the worst since these negotiations began in September 2008. It's hoped the meeting in Geneva will bring life back to the process, and with 37 years of conflict behind them, there's clearly still a lot of ground to cover before this time next year. Kath Brazier, Forces News, Nicosia.